and gentlemen, welcome to the commencement and conferring of diplomas for Henry E. Lackey High School's class of 2018. We will begin our ceremonies with the presentation of the colors by the Henry E. Lackey High School Air Force Junior ROTC. Reciting the Pledge of Allegiance is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel and Group Commander Dream Washington and the singing of the National Anthem by Lydia Williams. My name is Jason Mackey, and I'm the 12th grade vice principal at Henry E. Lackey High School. On behalf of the students, faculty, staff, and administration, I want to welcome you to our graduation ceremony. We are here this afternoon to celebrate the accomplishments and dedication of this class of graduates. May each of you, the graduates, accept the challenges before you with determination, perseverance, and with dignity. At this time, Andrew Wright, National Honor Society President, and Jessica Williams, Student Government Association President, will recognize our distinguished guests. We are honored to present to you our distinguished guest. Please stand when we call your name. From the Charles County Board of Education, Board Chairman, Ms. Barbara Palco. Board member, Mr. Mark Crawford. Board member, Ms. Victoria Kelly. Board member, Mr. Michael Lucas. Board member, Ms. Virginia McGraw. Superintendent of Charles County Public Schools, Dr. Kimberly Hill. From the House of Delegates, the Honorable Edith Patterson. The Honorable C.T. Wilson. From the Charles County Commissioner's Office, President, Mr. Peter Murphy. Commissioner Vice President, Mr. Bobby Ritchie. Commissioner, Ms. Deborah Davis. 
from the Charles County Circuit Court, Judge Donnie Carrington. Judge William Greer, Jr. From the Charles County Sheriff's Office, Sheriff Troy Berry. Clerk of Charles County Circuit Court, Ms. Sharon Hancock. Register of Wills, Ms. Lorraine Hennessy. From the Town of Indian Head, Mayor Brandon Fallen. From the Charles County Public School Administration Office, Deputy Superintendent, Ms. Amy Holstein. Assistant Superintendent of Supporting Services, Mr. Michael Heim. Assistant Superintendent of Fiscal Services, Mr. Randy Sotomayor. From the Education Association of Charles County, President Ms. Linda McLaughlin. Uniserve Director, Ms. Courtney Dowling. Thank you for joining us today. At this time, Lackey Senior Class President Sharka Fletcher will share greetings from the class of 2018. Sharka is the daughter of Irene and Carl Fletcher. Sharka has a cumulative grade point average of 3.79. She is a member of the National Honor Society and the National Art Honor Society. She has been a class officer for four years. She was a varsity member of the soccer, tennis, and unified bocce teams. Sharka will attend Penn State University in the fall. It is my privilege to introduce Sharka Fletcher. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Henry E. Lackey High School's class of 2018, I would like to welcome you all to our graduation. Distinguished guests, staff members, administration, family, friends, and my mom's Facebook followers. Well, friends, we made it. We started from the bottom, and now the whole team literally is here. This melting pot of a school has opened our eyes to new ways of life, reshaped social lives, colorful future endeavors, and all of our diverse experiences have enlightened our minds into different ways of thinking. When we started high school, we were just awkward freshmen wondering if we would fit in. Curious if we would make friends and had no idea that in four short years, we would go from Air Postal to Urban Outfitters. The glow up was real. During our years at Lackey, some things never got old. We spent every Friday night supporting our football team and never missed a chance to show off the class of 2018 during spirit weeks and when we were decorating our hallways and while we fought for our wins during battle of the classes. It is without a doubt that Lackey High School's class of 2018 has been one of the most successful and spectacular classes in Lackey's history. These past four years have been full of triumphs and tribulations. We have lived through a lot of first and last in our country, which has contributed to the growth of our minds, bodies, and souls. I am proud of the people we have grown to be. Class, I am privileged to say that we have stood tall and kept our stance as students in hopes that those after us will never live in silence and that they never have to march for their lives. As we close this chapter of high school, I encourage you all to paint your own future the way that you see it. Each and every one of you has limitless potential. Your minds are the biggest opponent you will ever fight against. Starting today, I challenge you to shift your perspectives. Find peace with your decisions and grow with the idea that you are an individual who has a distinct path strengthened and encouraged by your own internal compass. Seek out those who inspire you to be the best version of yourself. Take life by the hand and run with it. Wander off the beaten path barefoot sometime and never underestimate the power of venture. Promote, promote peace, love, and happiness, and never forget where you came from. Congratulations, Class of 2018. Thank you, Sharka. At this time, Lackey's three-year Board of Education liaison, Caitlin Willett, will share a reflection from the Class of 2018. Caitlin is the daughter of John and Nellie Willett. 
She has a cumulative grade point average of 3.94. In addition to being a student liaison, she is also a member of the National Honor Society, Student Government Association, Drama Club, and MESA. Katie was the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Representative in 2015. She was a member of the varsity field hockey team for four years and also a member of the girls lacrosse and tennis teams. Caitlin will attend West Virginia University in the fall. It is my privilege to introduce Caitlin Willett. Good afternoon. For the past three years, I've had the honor and the privilege to serve as your school liaison to the Board of Education. This opportunity has allowed me to see the hard work and dedication it takes to be a charger. There is no other school that comes together as a family to encourage, love, and support one another the way Lackey does. Not only are we a community school, we are a family. I have learned a lot about the inner works of the school system since being the student liaison. I have learned from many great officials, organizations, teachers, parents, and students. But during these four years, there's something I have not quite figured out yet. And discussing with Andrew, we came up with some really, really good points. As a school, we know geographically, we come from a different area than the rest of the county. We are very rural and face different issues than other schools. There is nothing wrong with where we live. The west side is the most beautiful side of the county. But it always seems like whenever Lackey or its students are mentioned, it's followed with a sigh or comment like, oh, you better watch out for those Lackey kids. What are they watching out for? The most, school, the most spirited school in Charles County? The school who shares its west side pride in its students and what they've accomplished? The school with generations of legacy that truly represents what it means to be a community school and a fierce charger? This school with countless championships, awards, and honors received by many of our distinguished clubs and organizations, such as MESA and DI and Envirothon. The stellar award-winning performing arts department, all of its clubs donating food, clothing, and thousands of dollars to those in need to our community. Oh, and have I mentioned our athletics, who in fact have won four state championships, 13 SMAC championships, and 19 regional championships in the last four years. This, of course, means that there has been several college signings as well as immense academic achievement. Well, you are right. You should watch out for those lackey kids because they're pretty great. And they're going to change the world someday. And I just hope they change your world as much as they change mine. Class of 2018, we're just starting to prove them wrong. This is the beginning of a new journey, and I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. Our salutatorian this year is Eden Williams. Eden is the granddaughter of Ignatius and Mildred Cooper. Eden has achieved a grade point average of 4.46. She is a member of the National Honor Society, Student Government Association, Math Team, and Envirothon Team. She is also a member of the Varsity Tennis Team. Eden will attend Towson University in the fall. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce Eden Williams. Thank you for the thoughtful introduction. I want to start by thanking the parents, grandparents, other family members, and loved ones for all the support you have given us over the years to get us where we are today, graduating. I am honored to stand before you now. I would like to tell my personal background story that helped shape me into who I am. After my parents' divorce, my mother battled a series of abusive relationships and my father was not able to provide for his two daughters on his own. My sister and I were raised by our grandparents after our mom dropped us off at a Barnes and Noble bookstore and never returned. My grandparents provided everything they could for my sister and me, which motivated me to do the best I could in everything and make them proud. I craved to prove that someone of my struggling background could succeed. Although I did not have a conventional or easy upbringing, I learned three very valuable lessons from my situation that helped me to succeed the most. The first one is to always be grateful for what you have and the people who love you unconditionally. Do not waste your time thinking of what others have that you do not or being jealous. 
Appreciate your loved ones because people may be temporary, but love is forever. There is always someone that loves you and cares for you, so never feel alone. Also be thankful for the ones that have stuck around or the people that enter your life and make it better instantly. The second lesson is to work hard and stay determined because perseverance is unmeasurable. Balancing a heavy load is never easy, but you cannot give up on your goal or yourself. Push yourself harder to overcome obstacles and be the best version of yourself. The third lesson I have learned is that mistakes are good to make. You are going to mess up, but no one is perfect. Turn those lessons into blessings by learning from what you did wrong to prepare and improve for the next time. There is always an opportunity to grow. Before I leave this stage, I want to challenge my fellow students to think about the past three lessons that you have learned, the best ones, and share your knowledge with others so we can all grow together and become more well-rounded people. I urge everyone to be grateful, be hard workers, and be willing to learn from mistakes despite the challenges being faced. Let the class of 2018 thrive in all our future endeavors. My grandma always told me, you can do it and you know it. So I'm here to tell you all, we did it. Farewell and congratulations class of 2018. Thank you, Eden. At this time, the Henry E. Lackey Chamber and Show Choir, under the direction of Miss Natalie Beal, will perform Not to Say Goodbye. Thank you, Ms. Beal. Our valedictorian this year is David Nelson. Valedictorian David Nelson is the son of David and Jean Nelson. David has achieved a grade point average of 4.59. He is a member of the National Honor Society and MESA. He is a varsity member of the boys' soccer, tennis, and swim team. David will attend Penn State University in the fall. 
At this time, it is my privilege to introduce David Nelson. I would just like to start by giving some thank yous. Thank you all for coming today. Thank you, Mom, for always pushing me to do my best. And thank you, Dad, for telling my mom to chill when she pushed too hard. I would like to thank my best friend. You know who you are. I would like to thank the lackey staff that has had to deal with the Nelson children for the last 10 years. And finally, I'd like to thank those not mentioned already, as I wanted to keep the thank yous short. We stand here today on the precipice of the future. It is not a distant reality anymore. Now, instead of asking, when are we graduating? We're saying, oh, we're graduating. It begins here, it begins today. We began high school as children, but we are leaving here as adults. We have completed a basic education that will serve as the platform we use to launch ourselves into our futures. Some of us will go on to college, others will go straight into the workforce, but each of us will travel our own path. No matter where we go or what we do, there are challenges ahead of us. What I'm asking from each of you and from myself is to meet those challenges straight on with your head held high and your heart wide open. It is not simply enough to get by in life. That does not move the world forward. You must try to excel in everything you do. Strive for excellence in every task, large or small. Although it, not, it may not be easy to see, every accomplishment you achieve is added to the world's accomplishments. Your individual successes benefit society as a whole because when you succeed, you lighten the burden on your fellow man. When you succeed, you can give rather than take. Imagine if every individual lived up to his or her own potential. Think of how amazing that would be and how much better off the world would be. Now imagine if just half of those individuals lived up to their potential. The world would still be an awesome place. If even one-fourth of these individuals worked to make their lives successful, they could still make some amazing contributions to society. Well, we may not have the power to inspire the entire world to strive for success, but we do have the power to try and achieve it for ourselves. My challenge to each of you and to myself is to do all that you can to reach your full potential. If each of the 214 students in this graduating class can do that, just imagine the effect that would have. The future is truly in our hands, so let us make the most of us. Most of it. Thank you. Thank you, David. At this time, our symphonic band, under the direction of Dr. Alan Freeman, will perform Ascend, third movement from the Georgian Suite. Thank you. 
Now, it is my pleasure to introduce you, our principal, Mrs. Kathy Perello, for her farewell remarks to the class of 2018. Good afternoon and welcome Henry E. Lackey's class of 2018, parents, family, and friends, and congratulations to our graduates. This is your day, and today is about you, your accomplishments, and your journey to this point. Savor this ceremony, bask in these moments, and relish this one last time together. However, remember that life after high school, in the world of work, whatever it may be, is not always about you, it's about people. People here, people there, people everywhere. One can never underestimate the power of people. You have heard countless times from your parents, clergy, teachers, and administrators and very recently in the news over the years that the world has changed. Society is different. It wasn't like that when I was growing up. What has happened to the world? Geographically and environmentally, the world has changed. Our shorelines have eroded. Global warming has increased. But the world has mostly changed because of the people in it. You, me, him, her, and everyone. We have changed our values, our attitudes, our standards of acceptability, but more importantly, our actions. From this day forward, the only way we can make a positive difference and be effective agents of change is to treat others as we want to be treated. Inspired by Pastor Rory Conley from St. Mary's Bryantown, and to paraphrase the simple formula for living, there are five important promises that we should make to one another. Number one, love one another. Hate, jealousy, and ill will towards others will only cultivate anxiety within yourself. Never take advantage of someone else's disadvantage and never step over people to get where you wanna go. Number two, Forgive others. We have all erred and done wrong in the world. Do not blame other people for the mistakes you have made. Remember, don't sweat the small stuff. It's all small stuff. Number three, lead yourself and others. Live a meaningful and joyful life. Listen more, talk less, and be humble in all you do. Take one less selfie and five more pics of others sharing their beauty, gifts, and talents. When in doubt, use humor not only to survive, but to thrive. Number four, take care of yourself and others. Live beneath your means and be generous with your blessings. Always take care of the less fortunate, the disabled, and the elderly for we never know what tomorrow brings us. Give and you shall receive. And number five, be loyal to others. It is easier to run away and hide behind text messaging and social media than to have a good old fashioned face-to-face -face conversation. Embrace and nurture the joy and pain that as humans we all feel. So for the lessons learned so far and the ones yet to come, remember, never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give experience. Worst days give lessons. And best days give memories, like today. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Mrs. Perello. On behalf of the Lackey community, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Hill and her executive staff for their vision and leadership in creating outstanding educational opportunities for all of our students. It is my distinct pleasure 
to present to you the Superintendent of Charles County Public Schools, Dr. Kimberly Hill. Good afternoon. On behalf of the members of the Board of Education and all of us who work with Charles County Public Schools, congratulations, Class of 2018. We are delighted to be a part of your graduation ceremony. You've probably heard from your teachers, parents, and family members that high school graduation will set you up for success. They've told you that the diploma that you are about to receive is an important starting point for the trajectory of the rest of your life. But what does success really mean? Some people say success is all about money, power, possessions, and impressing other people. Dr. Emma Seppala, a psychologist from Stanford and Yale University, wrote a book about success and happiness. In her book, she pointed out hundreds of research studies that concluded the key to success isn't money, or power, or stuff. The key to success is happiness. Her research shows that when you're happy, you'll find the success that you're looking for. Happiness increases emotional and social intelligence, boosts productivity, and heightens our influence over our peers and our colleagues. So, so, so to be successful, we need to be happy. So how do we achieve happiness? Happiness is all about your mindset or your attitude. Your attitude can make you or break you. It is the foundation for every success or failure you've ever had. Attitude impacts the way you feel about people and situations, and it also impacts how people feel about you. Your attitude is contagious. Your joy and enthusiasm rubs off on people around you, but so does your bad attitude or your negative attitude. Class of 2018, take responsibility for the energy that you put out there. Realize that your attitude impacts those around you. Choose to surround yourself with people who will lift you up, not tear you down and be that person who chooses to show up with enthusiasm and energy for whatever situation that you will face. A good attitude and a strong work ethic will take you far in life. As Vince Lombardi said, the only place that success comes before work is in the dictionary. Work is the key to success, and hard work can help you accomplish anything. Don't just go through the motions, class of 2018. Show up and engage in whatever is in front of you. Your self-worth is not measured in likes or followers. It's measured in the relationships you've built and the impact you've had on the people around you. Class of 2018, it is time for you to go forth and practice what you have learned. We hope as you do so, you will remember the words of the author, poet, and professor, Dr. Maya Angelou, when she said, I've learned that people will forget what you've said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Class of 2018, the world needs you right now. Do your best to make the world a better place. Mrs. Perello, please present your class. <laughs> Dr. Hill, I certify that each of these 214 students have met the requirements for a Maryland High School Diploma or Certificate as established by the Maryland State Board of Education and the Charles County Board of Education. 
Additionally, I am honored to certify that 71 graduates have met the requirements for the Charles County Certificate of Merit. Again, this is a milestone occasion for our graduates, as well as their parents and friends. I would like to reiterate the importance of respecting the silent roll call. Each person is here for the same reason. Please give each graduate the respect and admiration he or she deserves. Please hold your applause and jubilation until the roll call is complete, the graduates stand, and the tassels are turned. The roll call of candidates will be conducted by Henry E. Lackey faculty members, Mr. Scott Lush and Ms. Michelle Magnin. Conferring the roll call are Board of Education Chairman, Ms. Barbara Palco, and Board Member, Ms. Virginia McGraw. David Allen Nelson, Jr. Sarah Williams. Andrew Patrick Wright. Carl Antonio Jones, Jr. Madison Elizabeth McMillan. Dakota June Knott. Taylor Nicole Birch. Haley Michelle Tanner. Tanyatan Bachira Anand. Chloe G. Latimer. Elliot Dwight Allen Jr. Deanna Kareem Ash. Keyshawn Ricardo Allen. Deja Antoinette Bagwell. Kenneth Clay Andrews. Christina Elizabeth Neves Banks. Willie Martin Borden. Hannah Catherine Bateman. Kyle Maximilian Bowie. Omani De Maria Berry. <laughs> Tyler Lee Bowie. Catherine Lloyd Best. DeAndre Jameed Brady. Kayla Monet Bowman. <laughs> Robert Brockington Jr. Janae Nicole Brooks. Marquise Tavon Brown. Asia Armani Brown. Yay, Amir Lazander Bullock. Yasmin Maya Brown. Carlos Antonio Butler. Shiante Mariah Butler. Ja'Cory James Campbell. Makaya Jaden Butler. Jordan Everett Alexander Carter. Ebony Danielle Campbell. Joseph Lamont Chesley. Nunye Videsha Capers.
William James Cooley. Caitlin Marie Chapman. Timothy Patrick Coombs. Nigeria Nicole Coates. Michael James Corley. Lily Jo Collins. Austin Seal Cutlip. Natasha Shea Collins. Matthew John Del Canton. Tierra Rosalie Cooks. Jonathan Delgado. Zane Lorraine Cooper. Jacob Matthew Donaldson. Valerie Jean Corbin. Charles Frederick Donahue. Brianna Kyra Cromwell. Bradley Edward Dotson. Mackenzie Nicole Davis. Chase Michael Edwards. Damani Jayla Renee Dillard. Joseph Wolfgang Garner. Kelsey Janelle. Dodson-Falls. Clifton Raymond Gilroy. Shaquisha Lachey Dorsey. Clarence Earl Green. Jayla Enon Douglas. Justin Troy Green. Tyreek Ahmad Green. Next conferring diplomas are board members Mr. Mark Crawford and Ms. Victoria Kelly. Amelia J. Dudley. Trey Arthur Hargrove. Ivy Nicole Farrell. Janathian Gage Harrison. Aiden Colin Haynes. Sharka Phyllis Fletcher. Charles Randolph Heflin. Diavion Ford. Carrie Vernon Herbst, Jr. Alexia Nicole Funches. Nicholas Eugene Hill. Quadesia Giovanna Harris. Dakota James Hillary. Courtney Elizabeth Hawkins. Tristan Fitzgerald Horn. Kaya Monet. James Wesley Hughes the third. Chanda Marquiana Hunt. Yeah! 
Dwayne Keith Humphreys, Jr. Leyland Lynette Hunter. Patrick Hunter Island. Dominique LaShawn Jeffrey. Zephaniah Elias Israel. Destiny Nicole Johnson. Marcus Angelo Jackson. Dayelle Lorraine Kearney. Montel Anthony Johnson. Wesley Dante Johnson. Azana Charnice Helton. Tyler Alec Jones. Chloe Gabriella Perry. Makai Antonio Jones Payne. Caitlin Marie Prezel. Jaquel Derek Kearney. Shania Lachey Keys. Sebastian Lee Kolzinski. Megan Marie Lusky. Michael Jamar Lancaster. Chantel Kayla Maddox. Elijah Richardson Lane. Taisha Devana Marbury. Luke James Leapley. Amanda Nicole Marshall. Robert Irwin Lee. Allison Renee Mathis. Anthony Jan Longshore. Caitlin Nicole Matthews. Julian Ramon Lyons. Kamaya Troy Matthews. Anthony Michael. Deja Lanice Middleton. Kyle Dakota Mamana. Ayana Joelle Montgomery. Aaron Wesley Millington. Jamia Rachene Moore. Jason Michael Mills, Jr. Savannah Renee Moore. Justin Taewon Neal. Amanda Lee Musselman. Zachary Patrick Osborne. Davin Rain Lugutu Pagala. Demonte Dwayne Owens. Deja Ali Phelps. Daquan Anthony Page. Anaya Lene Potit. Grayson Wyatt Morgan Payne. Anaya Lavon Pointer. Jared Jonathan Proctor. Sylvia Marie Quarles. Taziah Marquise Randall. Next in for our 
board member, Mr. Michael Lewis, and board chairman, Ms. Barbara Palco. Gian Nicola Abanes Reyes. Joshua Gregory Isaiah Redden. Ananya Love Robertson. Cavante Jaleel Reeves Barham. Mary Elizabeth Settle. Mac Christopher Scott. Caitlin Marie Shannon. Miko Randolph Vincent Sims. Mary Sue Smith. Demetrius Stepan Sims. Meredith Ann Smith. Kavan Delazo Smith. Natasha Rochelle Smith. Zachary Andrew Smith. Catherine Lynn Spaulding. Justin Allen Stinnett. Amaje Armani Spears. Malik Anthony Tenhu. Shelby Nicole Stachura. Derek Deshaun Thomas Jr. Brooklyn Michaela Stewart. Brandon James Thompson. And Marie Grace Strauss. Christopher Emmanuel Thompson. Keyshawn Noel Sutton. Dontrell Antoine Thompson. Alicia Regine Thomas. Jarrell Morgan Turnipseed. Alia Brielle Thomas. Lydell Devon Washington. Savannah Lee Thomas. Tehran DeAndre Washington. Destiny Lachey Thompson. Seth Lawrence Weingarten. Kira Ayana Thompson. Trey Francis Welch. Janaya Nicole Thornton. Khalil Malik Watley. Brittany Lynn Underwood. Isaiah Micah White. Kiana Lene Wade. James Leroy Wilkerson, Jr. Adriana Array Ward. DeAndre Michael Winston. Dream Najee Washington. Anthony Bernard Witcher. Narje Celeste Washington. Zachary James Zalovic. Jayla Mariah Watson. Kala Shaylin Wheeler Zabel.
Amaya Lissandra Whitaker. Charlotte Rose Whittington. Amanda Nicole Weikert. Caitlin Jean Willett. Antoine Avion Williams. Jessica Lynn Williams. Lydia Samantha Williams. Haley Renee Wood. Elizabeth May Wright. Jasmine Aaliyah Yates. Courtney Danielle Yates. <laughs> Tiffany Janice Young. <laughs> Cheyenne Elizabeth Zerbian. Shania Marie Zimmerman. <laughs> 